Hello people, welcome to this video. Let's see how to use Autodesk Auto CAD 2017 to quickly make 3D surfaces and complete custom objects. Be sure to leave us comments and feedback to help us improve our next videos. In the previous videos of this guide, we have seen how to manage 2D objects inside a 3D environment. These do not work the best since these can't be filled properly and work fine just with the 2D tools like the hatch command and not work with some important 3D tools like the slice command. To draw 2D objects and surfaces that do work fine in a 3D environment, you have to use the surfaces tools, which are all collected inside the surfaces section under the 3D tools tab. Let's see how these work. The simplest surfaces you can create are the planar ones, such as surfaces that lay on a single plane. You can draw these by using the planar surface tool. You can use this tool in two main ways. If you enable the tool and click and drag on your workspace, you will drop a rectangular planar surface just as seen with the rectangle tool. Whereas if you already have a 2D path to use as boundary, you can select it first and then enable the planar surface tool. The surface created will keep the path as the boundary and will also be attached to it. This means that if you edit the boundaries, the surface will also be edited. The surface will become independent from its boundaries when you move it outside. These surfaces do have an area, but not a volume, but are treated just like 3D objects like solids filled and checked inside. Being 3D objects, the 3D editing tools do work on the surfaces, but not their 2D boundaries. So, if you select both the surface and its boundary, right click and go to group. You will group both the surface and the boundary. In this way, all the tools you are going to apply will be effective. Whereas, if you have the surface but do not have its boundaries, you can use the explode command twice on it to reopen them. When creating a surface from a 2D path using the planar surface tool, the new surface will spread through the whole enclosed path. In case you want to remove delimited parts of the surface, you can use the trim tool inside the surfaces section. Select the surface, apply with the enter key, and then select the contours that delimit the surface. Apply again, and then click on the parts of the surface to trim. Vice versa, you can use the untrim tool to extend the surface over one of the boundaries. Enable tool and click on the interested boundary. The surface will spread over it until it meets new boundaries. Besides the untrim tool, you can also use the extend tool to extend a planar surface over a surface boundary. Select the surface boundaries, apply with the enter key, and then extend the surface as much as you need. You can also build non-planar surfaces inside your workspace. To draw a 2D boundary inside a 3D environment, you must use the 3D polyline tool. Then by exploding all the polyline sides, you can select each boundary to create the surfaces, creating an overall non-planar surface. To create more complex surfaces with curves and defined shapes, you can use the tools inside the surfaces section. The fillet tool is used to join two surfaces that lay on different planes. Just select the two surfaces, then set the radius of the curved surface that joins them through radius in the command line or the blue arrow on the workspace. Use the Enter key to finish with the tool. In case you want to edit the radius again, you can select the curved surface and use the blue arrow on it. The Patch tool is used to cover the holes of a surface. Just select the hole boundaries and use the Enter key. As seen for the Fillet tool, you can use the down blue arrow to adjust its settings. The Blend tool is used to create a surface that links two enclosed boundaries, one for each surface, that can lay on the same or on a different plane. 
Select the boundaries of the first surface, apply with the Enter key, and then select the boundaries of the second surface. When applying with the Enter key, Auto CAD creates a surface that connects the two ones. Use the blue arrow to find the surface created. When Auto CAD creates the surfaces from others existing, always right click and use Group to manage all of them in the same way and without problems. The Offset tool creates a new surface with a constant distance, or offset, from the existing surface selected. When enabling the tool, select the surface interested and apply with the Enter key. At this point, Auto CAD shows through arrows where the new surface will be placed. Use Flip Direction to change the direction of the arrows, or both sides to add two surfaces, one on each side. Then, type the constant distance and apply with the Enter key. Do not use too much high distances for the internal direction, or the surface may not be created. There are also some tools to build a 3D object from a surface, like the Thicken and the Sculpt tool. The Thicken tool creates 3D objects starting from a surface taken as base. Select the surface, apply with the Enter key, and type the thickness level. When applying with the Enter key, the 3D object will have the old surface as base and as extrusion depth, the thickness level defined. Then there is the Sculpt tool. This extracts the 3D volume from a group of surfaces that delimits it. All you have to do is to select all these surfaces, for example, by using a window lasso and then clicking on the Sculpt tool button. This tool won't work unless the volume is not completely delimited by the surfaces. You can extract surfaces from existing 3D objects by using the explode command. If you start from curved solids, like cones and spheres, just select them and use the explode command to extract all their surfaces. Whereas if you start from boxes composed by polygon faces, you have to explode the whole object twice in order to get all its lines and sides. Then, by using the planar surface tool, define all the face boundaries one by one, and then group all the surfaces together to manage them. Inside Auto CAD, you have very important objects called mesh objects, used to create completely personalized 3D objects and surfaces. You can draw regular mesh objects by using the tools under the Modeling section. In respect to 3D objects and surfaces, mesh objects are composed by several subcomponents, such as faces, sides, and vertices, that can be edited singularly. In fact, if you click on the Mesh object, you will select it entirely. But if you hold the Control key down, you are able to select each single subcomponent in order to edit it through the editing tools inside the Modify section or the Gizmo system that appears on them. In this way, by moving and changing the subcomponents of the mesh, you are able to customize its shape completely. Even more, when selecting a subcomponent, you can use other tools on top under the 3D Tools tab. For example, if you select a 3D face, you can use the Edit Face section to edit it. Whereas, when selecting the whole mesh, the Smooth and the Convert Mesh sections appear above. Smooth is used to manage the smoothness level of the mesh object you have. Each mesh object has a smoothness level that you can check by hovering your pointer on the object for some time. This can be None, Level 1, 2, and so on. The higher is the level, the smoother the mesh shape is. So, if you select the mesh and go to Smooth More above, you will move from a smoothness level of None to Level 1, 2, and so on, making the object smoother and smoother on its sides and vertices. You can use Smooth Less to reduce its smoothness level instead. When increasing the smoothness level, you may need to use Refine Mesh 
to update the subcomponents that compose the mesh object. The higher the smoothness level is, the higher the number of subcomponents that describe the mesh shape. Remember that the Refine Mesh tool also resets the smoothness level to none, so you won't be able to use the Smooth Less tool with a mesh object just refined. When the shape of a mesh object is good, you have to convert it to a 3D object, such as a 3D solid object or a surface, in order to use all the 3D editing tools inside the AutoCAD. Select the Mesh object first and go to the Convert Mesh section above. Use Convert to Solid or Convert to Surface to transform your mesh into a 3D solid or 3D enclosed surface. More on the right, decide the way to transform the 3D faces of the mesh into solids or surfaces. There is also the possibility to draw a regular 3D solid and then start by editing its shape. When selecting a solid, transform it into a mesh object, going to Convert to Mesh under the 3D Tools tab. By default, a level 1 smoothness is applied, but you can use the Smooth Less to reopen all the lost harsh edges of the original solid. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our full guide to learn all you need for Autodesk AutoCAD 2017.